Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about salivary neoplasms, we will discuss about journal features, the classification and then we will go into detail of some of the tumors. Firstly going to the classification. Now this classification is on the basis of benign tumor and malignant tumor. So most of the tumors found in the salivary gland they are benign in nature and one of the most important one is the pleomorphic adenoma. This is a very important tumor. Pleomorphic adenoma we will discuss in detail. Other are Warden tumor, then there is Oncocytoma and in the malignant the very important one is Mucoepidermoid carcinoma, there is SNX cell carcinoma, there is Adenoid cystic carcinoma and there are other tumor like Adenocarcinoma, Squamous cell carcinoma. Now going to some of the journal features associated then we will go to discussing the pleomorphic adenoma. Firstly, most of the salivary gland tumors, they are found in parotid gland. Others are found in submandibular or some are found in the minor salivary gland or in the sublingual gland. Now, most of the salivary gland tumor, they are benign in nature. And the salivary gland tumor being malignant, it is inversely proportional to the size of the gland. For example, the parotid is the largest of all the salivary gland and therefore most of the tumor which are found in parotid gland, they are benign in nature. Only 15 to 30 percent of the tumor, they are malignant in parotid gland. Okay, rest are benign. However, as we proceed to the minor salivary gland, most of the tumors, around 50% of the tumor are cancerous. They are malignant in nature. Now, discussing a very important tumor that is a pleomorphic adenoma, which is a separate topic in itself. Okay, now this is mostly a benign tumor. Okay, and is mostly found in parotid. Now, this is also known as mixed tumor because it has a remarkable histological diversity. Uh, I will explain what does it mean. It means it has a mixture of both differentiation. It has mixture of epithelial differentiation and it has uh, uh, mesenchymal differentiation also. That means we will find in the histology that there are epithelial cells present and there are myoepithelial cells also present and therefore this is known as a mixed tumor. Now, uh, firstly going to some of the pointers of this tumor, then we will discuss the histology. Now, this is mostly presents as a painless, slow-growing mobile mass and it is mostly benign in nature. However, sometimes a malignancy or a carcinoma can arise within this tumor which is known as carcinoma X pleomorphic adenoma or malignant mixed tumor. Sometimes this is asked as an MCQ question. What is carcinoma X pleomorphic adenoma? It is just a carcinoma which is arising in the pleomorphic adenoma. Also, the treatment of the pleomorphic adenoma is parotidectomy or enucleation of the tumor. We remove the tumor, but there is high recurrence because there is there are finger like projections into the main mass as you know the parotid gland has two parts one is the deep one is the superficial part so there are minute protrusions from the main mass into the surrounding tissue which remain after the surgery also and they can cause reoccurrence okay now going to the morphology uh, now going to the first the morphology uh, firstly gross morphology now these are partially encapsulated tumor they have uh, a rounded uh, mostly they are rounded mass and they can have protrusions into the surrounding gland the cut surface is mixoid blue because there are areas having mesenchymal differentiation areas having chondroid or cartilage like differentiation so you can see this is the microscopic picture such a beautiful picture you can see so this part we can see this is the epithelial differentiation we can see these cells they are founding form, forming ducts they are forming gland like structures this is the part which is epithelial differentiation and however this part you can see over here has a bluish hue this is a mixoid uh, area and sometimes there is some cartilaginous differentiation which is also seen so this is uh, this shows a picture uh, it's a biphasic picture okay and is very characteristic of 
pilomorphic adenoma going to the we already discussed the microscopy now going to another tumor that is Borden's tumor. Now this is also a benign neoplasm. It also occurs exclusively in the parotid gland and is more common in males than females. Why we want to remember that uh, most of the salivary gland tumors they are more common in females than the males. However, Borden tumor is more common in males than females. And smoking is, has a highest association with this tumor. If the smokers they have eight times the risk of this tumor than the non-smokers. Going to the gross morphology, it is also a roundish over encapsulated mass mostly found in the superficial parotid gland and going to the microscopy. Now going to the microscopy, it has a very characteristic microscopy. Going to the characteristic microscopy of the Wardens tumor. Now you can see uh, it has, it, these are the spaces and these are lined by, there is a bilayer of epithelial cell. You can see more in the high resolution. So there is bilayered. You can see these are the columnar cells which rest upon, these are few of the cells you can see. These are the cuboidal cells. The columnar epithelium, it rests over the cuboidal epithelium. And in the center you can see there is lymphoid population. This blue, blue, dark blue, blue area over here also you can see. This is the lymphoid population. And the lymphoid population can be so much that germinal centers can also be formed in here. Okay, now going to the microscopy, we already discussed it. There is a double layer of epithelial cells and inside that there is a dense lymphoid stroma, sometimes even having the germinal centers and the double layer of the epithelial cells, they have a surface layer of the columnar cell and which rests over the cuboidal cells. This was about the Wardens tumor. Now going to the last tumor which we are discussing that is the mucoepidermoid carcinoma. Now this one is the most common form of primary malignant tumor in the salivary tumor, salivary gland. Salivary gland also can have metastasis from other areas. So it is the most common primary malignant tumor. Scandries can be found here. And in the mucoepidermoid carcinoma, there is a very characteristic appearance of this also salivary tumors they all have a very characteristic appearance okay so in this there is a mixture of three cells there is mixture of squamous cell then there is mixture of mucus secreting cell and there is a third type of cell which is known as intermediate cell so we can see in this picture this one you can see the this is the mucus secreting cells because you can see mucin washes upon fixation by formalin so you can see there is a clear space and the cell the nucleus is pushed to the side these are the mucus secreting cells and in between you can see these are the squamous cells okay so mucoepidermoid carcinoma it has three population of cells so this was about the mucoepidermoid carcinoma. This was all about the salivary neoplasms. Do like, share and subscribe if you like these videos and ask any query regarding this topic and regarding the tumors which I have not discussed like adenoid cystic carcinoma you can ask in the comment box. Okay, thank you.